Agua? You call that trying? Catch me! Ugh, I like this game because we always win! Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> what gorgeous silk! Thank you, Your Grace. I promise you'll have the most glorious new robe. I hope so. My banquet is one month away, and I expect to look even better than my usual best. What is all that commotion? It's those plain brown birds. How dare they interrupt us! Quiet, all of you! Huh? Uh-oh. Tai-Tai seems really mad. Psst! dong Over here! Let's go play! Who's that? It's my new friend, Xiao Bao. His family just moved to our village. He's really cool. Coming! And who brought those useless birds here in the first place? They're not fit for a palace. Um... Uh, well, my precious plum, I suppose the Swiftlets were here before we were. I want them removed. Not only are they noisy, but they are simply too plain. They must be banished from the province. Whoa! Anything for you, my lovely lychee. <laughs> We're Tea Chenzu Masters! No one is faster! <laughs> <laughs> no one will be really fun. I'll sneak you into the palace for the big banquet next month. Yeah, that'd be great. We can... Oh, no. I just remembered. I'm moving at the end of the month. You're leaving? My dad's a rat chaser. We're always moving from one place to another. But you just got here. I know. But we have a whole month to play. Ready? Um, it's kind of getting late. I gotta go. I can't believe the Swiftlets left already. Great, everybody's leaving. Hey, they're cute. Mulberry trees beautiful this time of year. Oh, what is this hideous creature? These parasites are eating my mulberry trees. But you don't understand. Those aren't parasites. They're so an infestation. But I they must go at once. Dogwa? I can't find him anywhere. He was here a minute ago. Ah! I'm afraid of bees. He did mean to bother you. He's probably just on his way to eat some flower nectar. See? When bees eat, pollen gets on their bodies. And when they go from flower to flower, the pollen gets spread, and that helps the flowers grow. How come you know so much? Well, me and my family travel a lot. We're moving again in a few weeks. <laughs> what is it, my lotus blossoms? Bees! Ah, bees! Help! Help! What's the matter? <laughs> A bee stung me on the hand. <laughs> oh, you poor dear. Cook, get me some salve. <laughs> Those vicious beasts! We'll make sure this never happens again, won't we, dear? Dearest? 
I want you to draft a new law immediately. From now on... I know, I know. The bees are banished from the palace. <laughs> oh, now the bees are gone too. If this keeps up, we'll be the only animals left. <laughs> but the flowers need the bees. That's right, Shigua. All of nature is connected by an invisible thread. Once you break it, things can fall apart. If we were the only animals left, it would be awful around here. Dongwa! Dongwa, there you are! Teach Chenshi Masters? Maybe tomorrow. Oh, okay. Uh, maybe next time. Dongwa, that wasn't very nice. What difference does it make? He's moving anyway. I know it's hard when friends leave. Especially Xiaobao. He was really fun, and it's hard to make new friends. You're right. But you know what? I'm sure it's pretty hard for Xiaobao, too. Especially moving all the time. Yeah, I guess. Let's see tonight's menu for the banquet. Bird's nest soup, imperial vegetables, roast duck, and cassia flower cakes. Yum! Makes you hungry, doesn't it? What's the matter with Dongwa? I think he's sad because Xiao Bao's leaving tonight. I'm just not hungry, that's all. Uh oh. I hope my new robe is as glorious as you promised. Uh, Your Grace, uh, I must explain. Hmm. <laughs> Don't be modest. I'm sure it's the finest robe in all of China. <gasps> what is the meaning of this? It's not even finished. There's been a shortage of silk, Your Grace, since you banished the silkworms. Silkworms? You mean those ugly insects made my beautiful silk? Mm-hmm. Oh, well. There's still a wonderful meal to enjoy. I've been looking forward to this delicacy all year. Bird's nest? Why, this is a simple broth. What happened to the bird's nest soup? A thousand pardons, Your Grace. But since the swiftlets were banished, there were no... Bird's nests for the soup. It must be time for the cassia flower cakes. Ah, yes, I almost forgot. Mmm, that will make up for everything. But there's something missing. It's so, so... Bland. I did my best, Your Grace. But there's no honey since you... Banished the bees. Oh. It, um, it was a lovely banquet tonight, wasn't it, my perfect peach? Well, yes, I, uh, <clears throat> guess it could have been better. It was a disaster, and it's all my fault! And yours! Oh, what am I saying? I've made a terrible mistake. Birds, bees, worms! I never stopped to think that my selfish needs would make such a mess. It's not too late, my fastidious fungi. We can always bring those creatures back. Yes, of course. We've got to send that message out tonight. We're so glad you changed your mind. Now we can have all the silk robes, honey, and bird's nest soup we want. <laughs> I know you miss those things. And you probably never even thought about where they came from, unlike me. But, dear daughters, perhaps we should be less focused on what these creatures give us and think more about the delicate balance of nature that they help create. The message is all ready to go, but I'm afraid we'll have to wait until morning for the messenger to carry it to oh. the next province. There must be some way to deliver that message right now. It is time you were more than just the most beautiful bird in China. Do something useful around here for a change. 
Now go! Shoo, shoo! I can't wait for our friends to come back. I never thought any of them were ugly. I'm just glad Tai Tai changed her mind before it was too late. And they were gone forever. I thought you didn't want to be my friend anymore. No, I guess I just didn't want to say goodbye. This is for you. Whoa! Thank you, Dongwa! Teach Chen Shi Masters? No one is faster! <laughs> <laughs>